Well, we are uh, just in love with all the great procedurals that are on today, um, you know, like CSI, and we're all big sort of old school Law and Order fans, and um, uh, you know, Homicide, and then there's all, been all these great cable shows like uh, The Wire, um, and now there's True Detective and Fargo, and there's just so many, so many cool kind of characters and storylines and ways of shooting that we just think is great and so we're, we're kind of uh, really doing our version of that show through a slightly uh, crazy lens and um, you know on those shows there's always the interpersonal stuff that develops like the lieutenants getting divorced or like two of the detectives start dating and it's problematic and someone's a single mom and they're trying to manage work and home um, and for some reason on every show everyone's got something personal about each case and it was like somebody <laughs> stole all the soda from a soda machine that's my story you know that's what happened to me when I was a kid and I'll be damned if I'm gonna let it stand so we're doing all you know like Mariska Hargitay has a personal connection to every single story that's happened they've done like 300 episodes and she's got a personal connection to every single thing wow. um, so we have lots of like personal connections this time it's personal except most every time it's personal um, and we just love playing on the tropes of like the lieutenant who's always angry get the hell in here you know uh, I'm tired of you not playing by the rules and I really can't say, I, I want your badge and your gun enough times. That's my favorite thing to say in the whole world. Give me your badge and your gun. So I have a few fun trivia questions. Okay. Um, you know how there are some really ridiculous laws um, yes. in our country and yes. states. So I did a little bit of research and found some Great. outlandish laws in California because the show is set in LA. Okay, good. So I'm going to quiz you. All right. You got to tell me if it's real. Real law or, or false fake. law, okay. No vehicle without a driver may exceed 60 miles an hour. That's true. Wow, very good. Um, you may not chew gum with your mouth open while on government property. False. <laughs> wow, two for two. No person may own more than 20 cats per 100 square feet of their residence. That's true. No, sorry. Really? Nope. It seems so <laughs> I made true. That one up. <laughs> um, film producers must have permission from a pediatrician before before filming a child under the age of one month. That is true. Wow. You may not let a dog pursue a bear or bobcat at any time. <laughs> I want that to be true. It is. It's totally true. That I want to be true. Um, all pet snakes must be on a leash when taken out in public. <laughs> That's not true. No, it's not. And you may only throw a frisbee at the beach with the lifeguard's permission. That, I don't think that's true, but if it is, I've broken the law so many times. <laughs> you're a lawbreaker. They're going to really? come Really? Oh, yeah. my God. That's, that's all my I trivia. just hope you're not recording this. <laughs> really good. We do an episode, uh, a very silly episode about um, smuggling ferrets. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> against the law or not against the law in California? Not against the law. Against the law. It is. You cannot bring ferrets into the state of California. Oh, Illegal ferret trafficking, and that's the kind of hard-hitting stuff from the headlines that we're trying to tackle. <laughs> Watching the first footage, it seems like this show is a lot like Police Squad, the old Leslie Nielsen show. Did you watch that show, and if you didn't, did you avoid it to avoid picking up anything from it? I feel like we completely ripped it off. <laughs> like, a, like a hundred percent. No, I, I love Police Squad more than uh, I love my wife. Um... I, I grew up watching the Zucker Brothers and Pat Proft, um, Top Secret, Kentucky Fried Movie, Police Squad, Airplane, uh, but also, you know, Monty Python, the Marx Brothers, um, uh, Black Adder, uh, the Young Ones, I don't know if anyone's mm -hmm. ever seen the Young Ones, but um, I feel like all the kind of absurdist, satirical genres, especially the British ones, we've tried to kind of, you know, we're doing our version of. Like, we're not the first people to do sort of absurd satire. The Zucker Brothers, geniuses though they are, you know, are, were influenced by Marx Brothers, Ritz Brothers, Vaudeville, Woody Allen, Bob Hope, uh, and, you know, of course the Marx Brothers, who do the, like, the, the greatest wordplay of all time. You know, like, hold me, hold me closer. If I hold you any closer, I'll be standing behind you. <laughs> um, so, yes, it's, we're, all of us were heavily influenced by the Zucker Brothers, and, uh, most people don't realize that Police Squad, I think, only did six episodes. Yep. We think of it as this, like, incredible 
touchstone I, I do, and I remember it all so well, but I must have it memorized because it was only six episodes. Exactly. Um, they also had the greatest, I think the greatest written joke of all time, which is someone asking Leslie Nielsen, who are you and how'd you get in here? And he says, I'm a locksmith, and I'm a locksmith. <laughs> Um, so yes, definitely influenced, but um, also borrowed a lot from from all you know. All comedians are influenced by their their early influences, and I love absurdist, weird, broad, wordplay stuff. Um, it's all in there. 